Hello everyone, uh, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have b multiplied by b multiplied by b and its whole square root equals to b plus b plus b and its whole square root. So uh, here we need to solve this problem for the values of b. Uh, so here uh, we solve this nice uh, square root problem. So here first we need to simplify the terms on both of the sides. So here if you focus in the left hand side we have this is b and this b is multiplied by 3 times we write it as b cubed equals to but if you focus in the right hand side here our b is added by 3 times so we write it as 3 times of b and its whole square root. So now in the next step we need to uh, remove this uh, square root on both of the sides so in order to remove this square root we will take the uh, squaring on both of the sides of this equation so this two and square root are gone and we will obtain here b cubed equals to this two and square root are gone and we will get here three b only so because here we solve this problem for the values of b only so for this we will move this 3b in the left hand side and it will be written as b cubed minus 3b equals to 0. So here you see that we have b be the common factor which lies on both of these terms so that when we take common this b we get the remaining terms are here this is b cubed when we take common 1b we get the remaining 2b's and here when you take common this b we will obtain here this 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we will divide uh, this equation into the two cases so that the first case is we write b equals to 0 and the second case is we write b square minus 3 equals to 0 so this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to focus on this one and here you have this is b square and this is minus 3 we write this 3 as a, a square root of 3 square equals to 0 here we will just apply the square and square root at the same time of this 3 uh, and after that we will apply here the algebraic formula you know that if we have x square minus y square it is equals to x minus y times of x plus y so according to this formula we write our above uh, equation as in this form b minus square root of 3 times of b plus square root of 3 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now we divide uh, these this equation into two cases the first case is we write b minus square root of 3 equals to 0 the second case is we write b plus square root of 3 equals to 0. So uh, from here we easily get the value of b equals to square root of 3. So uh, this is the second root of the given equation and here we get our value of b equals to minus square root of 3. So this is the third value of the given equation. So we have finally the three roots of the given equation are b1 equals to 0, b2 equals to square root of 3 and b3 equals to minus square root of 3. So these are the three roots of the given equation. And now here in the next step we need to verify these three roots uh, so that in order to verify these three roots we first need to copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is b times b times of b and its whole square root equals to square root of b plus b plus b so here first we uh, uh, we verify our first value or first root so that now we first put b1 equal to 0 on both of the sides and it will be written as 0 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 0 and its whole square root equals to 0 plus 0 plus 0 and its whole square root so when you multiply 0 with 0 we get 0 when you add 0 with 3 times you again get 0 so this shows that uh, b1 equals to 0 satisfies the given question statement so now here uh, we need to verify the second root and it is b2 equals to square root of 3 so that now we again put b2 on both of the sides of this equation and it will be written as square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 3 and its whole square root equals to this is square root of 3 
plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 and its whole square root so uh, if you focus here we write this square root of 3 and square root of 3 this will be when we move this will in uh, outside the square root it will become square root of 3 times of uh, square root of square root of 3 and this is equal to here you have 3 square root 3 square root 3 becomes here 3 times of uh, square root of 3 uh, and its whole square root so when you separate the square root then uh, you will get here uh, square root of 3 times of uh, square root of 3 into square root of 3. So you see here both of the sides are equal. Uh, so it means that uh, the second value of P2 is satisfied over given question statement. Okay. So uh, because left hand side is equal to right hand side. And now here in the next step uh, we will uh, verify the uh, third root of the given equation so uh, in third root uh, we first uh, write our third root of the given equation is b3 equals to minus times of square root of 3 so now here uh, we will substitute the third root uh, on both of the sides of the given equation uh, so uh, the left hand side of the given equation are uh, this is uh, b times b times of b so the value of b is a minus square root of 3 so it will be written as a minus square root of 3 multiplied by minus square root of 3 multiplied by minus square root of 3 and this is equals to square root of uh, this is minus square root of 3 minus square root of 3 minus square root of 3 so if you focus in the left hand side we see here when you multiply these two values it will be written as minus square root of 3 and its whole square and its whole square root and inside the square root we have minus times of square root of 3 and this is equals to when you sum up these three values it will be written as minus 3 times of square root of 3 and its whole square root so uh, if you focus on here uh, you see that uh, this is the um, this 3 and this square root are gone and this minus is also gone so we will get here in the left hand side we get 3 times of minus square root of 3 equals to uh, here uh, we have minus 3 times of square root of 3 so here uh, we write our left hand side as minus 3 times of square root of 3 equals to minus 3 times of square root of 3. So this shows that left hand side equals to right hand side. Uh, it means that the third root of the given equation also satisfies the given question statement. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.